The FDA is hoping to have an answer soon on what a new COVID-19 vaccine could look like. Vaccine advisors are meeting today to weigh in on updating booster shots for the fall. Experts say the move is crucial to keeping people protected as our current vaccines are losing immunity. So we reached out to a local expert to find out more about how this could impact your family. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott is live from Tampa with more on the potential for a new shot. Good morning, Larissa. Hey, good morning, Heather. Well, vaccine advisors have to figure this out fast. The FDA has previously said that they need to decide whether or not to change the vaccine formulas by the end of June. So that way, drug manufacturers have enough time to get them ready by fall. So we know that the vaccine is waning. Our current COVID-19 vaccines are based on the strain that circulated early in the pandemic with no coverage for Omicron at all. And so that's one of the reasons that we think that this transmission of Omicron just went on unchecked was the vaccine just weren't able to keep it down at all. Although health officials say the shots we have now are highly effective against preventing severe disease, they're not stopping infection as well anymore. It's why the FDA is now asking its vaccine advisors to consider updating the COVID-19 vaccine formula. Experts say this is especially important because data show there's a risk of another major COVID-19 outbreak this winter due to the combination of waning immunity, further evolution of variants and increased indoor activity. So what is that coronavirus vaccine going to really look like in the next form? That's the question the FDA committee is hoping to answer, trying to figure out what a new COVID-19 booster shot could look like and what will be in it. We think Omicron will be included. We think maybe Delta will be included. Maybe the original coronavirus strain will be included, but what else? What do we see on the horizon coming that could actually be a big player now? That's the part that gets really hard to, to say because we can't see the future, right? FDA scientists say several vaccine manufacturers have prepared multiple modified vaccines for use in clinical trials, trying to create a vaccine that's more effective at stopping infection. According to documents, both Moderna and Pfizer have released new data on vaccines with different Omicron components, and the shots appear to increase immune response to the variant. Doctors also hope vaccines advisors will talk about what a new recommendation with a new vaccine could look like. We know everyone wants to get this vaccine on a yearly schedule, so we're not having to boost and boost and boost. That's not sustainable. People will stop boosting over time. The vaccine advisors will be asked to vote on whether or not to include an Omicron specific component in future COVID-19 vaccines. This will be an all day meeting starting at 830 this morning and we will of course continue to keep you updated on this developing story on ABCActionNews.com. I'm live in Tampa this morning. Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.